And your brain is the most powerful weapon. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that shit we have nowadays, yeah, that's great. We're up to date. But your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, you're going through death, real life shit. You can't Google that shit, man. You're alone. You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to, you may have a best friend you're going to, but there's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. You gotta control it. If not, it's over. What existed for me was, okay, man, how am I gonna fucking make this work? And all I knew back then was hard work. The only way anything gets accomplished. That's all I heard back in those days. You gotta work hard. You gotta work hard. I'm not getting how to, I can't get this paragraph. I can't remember what the fuck's in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it, read again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And that's how I started learning. Okay, well, I can't, I gotta write out every fucking thing I do. And then write it out again, and write it out again. And guess what happened? I got it, I got it. I can't swim, I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim, go back again, go back again, go back again. I got it. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to be great nowadays, because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This is a softened generation, so if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. People have a, a, a hard thing to understand. I hate to run. Why do you run if you hate it? What are you talking about? I don't want to take showers and eat either. I hate that too. That's life, man. It wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. That's what people don't understand. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. I'm training for the time when I get that two o'clock in the morning call that my mom is dead or something happens tragic in life. I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one so I can handle what life is gonna throw at me because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just gonna crumble and you're good for nobody. And that's why I talk about the warrior mentality. And that's why so many people are lost when I start talking. You have the right. You're lucky that you don't have to think like warriors think. You're very privileged. I chose this world to be a warrior. And I would, and I would choose it again if I came back to this world. But the mentality of a warrior is very different than the normal mentality. So to be a warrior, why people don't understand me, I'm glad you don't understand me. Merry Christmas, good on you. Because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. Your mentality changes. I may not live. You gotta accept that. And that's the mentality you have. And that's what makes you a warrior. If you're scared to die, you're a bad warrior. I hated jumping out of airplanes. I hated shooting guns. I hated the job as a Navy SEAL, but I did it because I wanted to change myself. Everything I do, I'm not really comfortable doing. That's with life. If you're choosing to do something, attack it. Because they're gonna remember you as not attacking it. So I want to be remembered. You can hate me, but one thing you can't say about me, I didn't attack it. So that's the mentality you have. If you're gonna do something, you might as well attack it. Because you can do it anyway.